Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can manage permissions on your iPhone and iPad running iOS 13. Now, when we are talking about permissions, there are different ways how we can manage permissions. You can manage permissions by an app or you can manage permissions by going into different categories and then you can control the permissions from there. So let's say if you want to manage permissions by an app, first go to your home screen and tap on the settings icon. In settings, you want to go down and then go to an app that you want to look at the permissions to see what kind of permission the app uh, has. So let's go down and have a look. So let's say we open up this Premiere Rush and you can see here some of the uh, permission or assets it has to is photos. So if you tap on photos, you can choose to, um, to never. So we don't uh, disable permission to photos, we choose never. So you can see we no longer have access to photos. So that is one way how you can manage permissions uh, directly from an app. You can see it also have permission to Siri and search. You can tap on that and turn it off. It also have permission to notifications. You can also turn it off from there. And it also have permission to use background app refresh. So that's one way how you can control permissions by directly going to an app. Now you can also uh, control permissions from the privacy settings. So a lot of the permissions are grouped under privacy. So if we go from the settings screen, we go to privacy. And in privacy, we also have location services. In here, you can also see which app uh, uses uh, location services. For example, maps or app stores or any other apps that require the use of location services. We can go on here and enable them or disable them. To simply disable them, just select never and that will disable uh, f the app from using that particular services. Now, if we tap on back here and for under privacy, you can also go down and look at the different services or app that uh, you want to control the permissions. For example, um, photos, if you tap on photos here, you can see uh, four different type of uh, apps actually require the access of photos. Premiere Rush, Investigator, Snapseed, uh, Filmmaker Pro. So if you want to disable Premiere Rush, you can go in here and choose Never. Or you can choose uh, Snapseed and then select Never or allow to read and write for that particular app. So that is a different way how you can go in and control permission as well. And if you go down here, you got um, permission to contacts, calendars, reminders, photos, Bluetooth, microphone. If you worry about um, somebody else, uh, one of the app is listening in using your microphone. You can go in microphone and check it out and see which app have permission to microphone. You can see Viber here is a uh, messaging app that's required the use of a microphone. So at the moment it has permission to microphone. If you don't want to give permission to Viber, you can switch it off or you can switch it on. So that is um, another way how you can control permission by looking at the app and see which app have uh, required permission to uh, one of the active the services or the apps in here. So you've got health. So in health, you've got health app and the clock app uh, needs require, um, require access to health. So you can go in here and control it. And you've got motion and fitness as well. So that is another way how you can control permissions. So if you go back here, another, another one is uh, notifications. So if you go into notifications, you can go down the list and look at uh, which app is require the use of notifications uh, services. If you want to control permission from here, you can tap on, for example, YouTube, and I can simply uh, turn off allow notifications and that will disable uh, YouTube uh, from uh, using notifications. So uh, that is another way how you can control permissions uh, with notifications. Then another one is uh, cellular data usage. You can go into cellular and then go down the list here. And if you want to disable certain apps from using uh, cellular uh, data, you can turn it off. For example, down here, you've got maps. Maps uses cellular data, so you can turn it off. And then uh, when I, whenever you're using maps, it will not use cellular data at all. So that is another way how you can control permissions. Another thing is the app refresh. So you can go into general from the settings screen, go into general, then tap on background app refreshes. In here you can also control which apps can use the background app refresh. So typically uh, these features allow an app to um, fetch the data on the background 
and so that when you open up an app, uh, that um, the, the app will present you with the latest uh, update uh, of data. For example, Facebook. Uh, when you open up Facebook, you may see the data is already refreshed and ready for you to uh, to go. However, these um, services can use up a bit of battery. So if you want to have your battery last a lot longer, you may want to choose uh, to control to turn off some of the apps from using these uh, services. And that's it. So that's how you can control permissions on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 13. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.